All right, everyone, welcome to the Flippin' Fins uh, tie-up edition uh, and strategies for uh, the Shad Indian River episode. Um, so I'm going to teach you guys how to uh, tie a spec rig with the Shad darts. Basically, it's two things on there. And um, then I'm going to go over what I did to uh, stay on the Shad on this episode. So um, we'll go over the... Uh, tying um, the uh, spec rig. So basically what I'm going to do is take a, a length of line about three to four feet just to give me enough room to tie. And on one end I'm going to tie the shad dart. But uh, instead of using the uni knots with this I'm going to do the uh, non-slip knot. So basically what that is is an overhand knot and then you pull it down and then you feed your tag end through with the overhand knot on the, on the side you're going to work with. So You're going to take your lot, your tag in, feed it back through that overhand knot you made. You're going to want to make it small. Tie it down. And then wrap it once, twice, three times. Then you're going to come back to the overhand knot that you passed your tag in through. Decide where it's overlapping you're going to feed your tag through. Pull it snug. Moisten it a little bit. You got your non-slip knot. What it does, it helps the, the, the dart uh, or your jig heads drop faster. There's less tension than with the uni knot. So, I'm going to just going to snip off my tag in there. And then we're going to go to the other end of this line and do the same thing. Except on this episode I used a crappy jig. I always have a ton of these in my box cuz they're useful. So, I want to make sure I have enough line to tie this and but not too much that I have an overbearing amount of line uh, for the uh, you know you don't when you're throwing it you don't want to have too much line on there so basically we're gonna do the non-slip knot for that too so I had way too much line so I'm just gonna trim off a little bit here So we'll do the non-slip knot again. Overhand. Take your tag end. Feed it through the eye. of your jig head, pass it back through your overhand knot, go around your main line once, twice, three times, then you're going to turn your jig head so the, uh, the line is facing up and down with your circle where the overhand knot was. So you pass your tag in and through the overhand knot. Make it snug a little bit. Moisten it. And then you got your non-slip knot there. So now I ended up with about three feet of line that I used to tie this. We're going to snip off the uh, 
the tag end. So now we got two things tied on each end of this line. So what we're going to do, the heavier end is going to be the longer end because this is going to trail through through the water kind of like this. Get my hand straight here. It's going to go like this. So the heavier one's go, going to hang lower, the lighter one will be higher. So basically I'm going to make that the situation. So you just want to take Pinch, pinch your line in the middle there. Do an overhand knot once, twice, pull it through. And that's your double spec rig shad dart crappy jig combo. And now, if you have a, a snap swivel, you can snap it right on there. Or if you have a two way swivel on, that works too. You basically just take that loop you just tied, pass it through, just so you have enough to pull the rest of your setup through. With the two-way swivel, just make sure you don't get hung up on your main line. And pull it down tight. And then you got your two-way to your uh, spec shag, shad rig with the crappy jig on it. And then on the we're using the uh, Ugly stick intercoastal on 10 pound, 10 pound uh, power pro with uh, 20 pound vanish fluorocarbon. You can get away with regular line too, that works too. But uh, for this, I, got, um, I bought the uh, shad darts at um, Old Inlet Bait and Tackle Shop. They're located on Route 1 down by the the uh, Indian River Inlet Bridge. Um, so the weights on here, you're looking at about a quarter ounce. And uh, I'll provide a list of stuff I use on the credits. So stay tuned for that. So that's your shad, dart, crappy jig setup. The uh, strategy I was using was basically uh, staying with the birds on the uh, on the fishing strategy. They were in the inlet. Um, the birds were dropping everywhere, and everywhere they were dropping, that's where I was throwing my my uh, my shad dart setup. So um, you know, just throw it in there, retrieve it. Uh, in through the birds let it sink a little bit and then just bring it through uh, steady retrieve not too fast just fast enough and uh, that'll get you done so I hope you all enjoyed the uh, episode um, again as always get out there and flip some fins and uh, thank you Legends are made